Since yesterday's scuffle at the main Human Rights Day event, a reflection of the current state of the PAC, what impact did the Sharpeville massacre have on the country's struggle for freedom? Is enough being done to ensure that the legacy of Robert Sobukwe is kept alive? And can the PAC of today say it upholds the ideals of the late Sobukwe? What time is it? It's question time. And welcome to the show. My name is Mpotse. Yesterday's commemoration of the Human Rights Day in Sharpeville got off to an ugly start. This after an SABC broadcast was affected by a scuffle between factions alleged to belong to the Pan-Africanist Congress of Azania. The PAC, led by the late Robert Mangaliso Sobugwe, is largely credited for the anti-pass marches in Langa and Sharpeville on 21st March 1960. The ill-fated protests claimed the lives of 69 people and left many others injured. While 27 February marked the 40th anniversary of the death of Sobugwe, debates continue regarding the role that he played in the country's struggle for freedom. But what is behind the topic searching for Sobugwe's voice? We are live. If you can call us and hear your views, the numbers to dial 0891104210. Internationally, plus 2789110410. Tweet us your comments at question time 24. And a reminder that you can also stream us on our Facebook page, SABC News Online, and our YouTube channel, YouTube forward slash SABC Digital News. My guest is Narias Muloto. He is the Pan Africanist Congress president. He joins me in Studio Africa. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Well, I guess this show really um, should be credited uh, for once for really giving attention to the Pan Africanist movement. Um, and um, we have always availed our time for the PAC to clarify its position, but also to clarify all these factions that have just been going on and on and on. And yesterday, embarrassingly enough, my Africa could not honor the stalwarts of yeah. Sharpeville massacre without what displaying their petty differences. Yeah, um, look, it's unfortunate because this day um, is a very important day, uh, and the leadership and the membership of the PAC want to commemorate it in a very dignified way. We have worked through times, even with the government, to try to make it um, the most dignified day, yeah. uh, particularly for the people, given the significance of the day itself. So, yeah, some of these things that happens, uh, the, the fact I must qualify is not factions within the PAC. The PAC as an organization, we have streamlined ourselves we are working quite effectively. We have put a lot of things in order. Yes, we do have members who are disgruntled, who left the party, for one reason or another, who are not active within the structures of the party, who does disruptions from time to time, particularly in such events where uh, they are not supposed to. And, uh, and it's unfortunate. Uh, we have taken note of those things. We continue to work on them. But I must also clarify that this happened in a very isolated where it disrupted the uh, uh, SABC morning live program. We regret um, that it has happened, particularly when other people who are not invited just uh, come and invaded the space. However, we, and, and particularly because they are the former presidents of these organizations, whom, as you are aware, we went through lengthy process of court and processes with them that matter is buried. We do not understand why should they come and disrupt this program. So was it Little Pampatele who disrupted you? He was among those disruptors. Okay. Now, we should also put it on record that my producers tried to uh, talk to uh, Lutando Mbinda, who refused to share a platform with you. Um, because I, I was saying, maybe, I don't know, uh, maybe sanity will prevail one day because... When we talk to you, I know we, we will be forced to talk to Mbinda probably on Monday because we don't have, we're not on air tomorrow because he also claims he is the PAC president. 
Then you have Litlapa, who also claims he is the PAC president. And, I mean, the PAC can't have three presidents. <laughs> yes, no, no, you are correct. Look, the PAC has moved on. We are far away from those things. They came, they've gone. We are not there. Uh, look, we run in terms of the constitution. The PAC has one headquarters, that's one office, that's one leadership structure, which are elected by the con uh, Congress or National Conference of the PAC, whichever is applicable. That has happened. We are now implementing the programs of the PAC going forward. We are not looking backward. Uh, we have dealt with those things. Uh, the legal part of it has taken place. Uh, but we are not at liberty to come in public and begin to discuss issues which are supposed to be discussed internally within, within the constitutional structures of the party. Does Lutando Mbinda have the legal documents of the PAC? That's what he says. He says what? He's got the papers. Um, Who says what? Well, that says he is the uh, president of, <laughs> of, of uh, the PAC. Yeah. Uh, and I mean, if he is not, maybe the other question that we'll ask is, is he your deployee in parliament? No, it's not our deployee. Yeah, we, the party deployed him at some stage, but we have taken, after his expulsion on the, on the 13th of June, we have then informed the speaker because it's the one who's supposed to basically make sure that he's, re he's, he's been replaced. Mm -hmm. That happened with Leta Pampatlele, that happened with the... Uh, and uh, Section 47.3c of the Constitution state very clear that once a person ceased to be a member of a political party that deployed him, he should then vacate. Mm -hmm. Now, the arrangement there, we don't know. But the party deals with those issues at, uh, at a separate... Uh, separately, we deal with those things with with our, our, our lawyers, and we deal with those things with the police. So we do not want to elaborate much uh, at this platform on those issues because they're still under a certain process. I must say, all these happenings do not do good to the legacy and memory of Robert Mangaliso Sobukwe. Look, insofar as we are using the basic document, the, uh, the basic Sobukwe left us with basic document the guideline on how the PSC should run and uh, on how we should conduct ourselves um, on matters of the, the PAC. So we are quite very happy. We are making progress uh, dealing with the, uh, the guidelines which um, were left to us by the founding fathers of the party. Mm -hmm. Now, let's talk about the 40th anniversary of Sobuko's death and I was quite happy that um, plans are underway to rename Kimberley Hospital after Sobukwe. His offices were declared a national sure. uh, monument and I think um, government is doing its bit to ensure that this uh, giant of our liberation struggle is not forgotten and what is happening to the PAC now does not happen to his memory. Look, what's happening to the PAC is progress. Unfortunately, um, the organization's dynamics is that each time it moves one step forward, there will be things that happen. It's the nature of organization, unfortunately. However, we are making progress. We appreciate the government appreciations of the role played by our founding president, Sobukwe. <coughs> and uh, we are working with government where necessary, where we are invited mm -hmm. to ensure that this legacy is upheld. Yes. We have taken a decision as a party, for instance, in our national conference, to go out and make sure that we search for his voice and get it. And I'm sure you, insofar as you see uh, this particular uh, uh, picture of his, and in many other uh, documentation, but you have not had his voice. Yes, that's, that's uh, what uh, uh, um, the other uh, Temba Godi uh, the, told us. Yeah, this, this, what we are, we are, this what we are working on is a, is a campaign, is a program. We've effectively we've already met even the management of SABC itself because yes. we believe they do have records somewhere. And we are saying that uh, after, uh, after the liberation, because he was banned until... Uh, he died. Hmm? Yes. He was in prison until he died. Uh, the people of this country had no opportunity to hear him talking. Mm -hmm. But we don't understand why they shouldn't hear him talking, at least once. Now, as we are heading for the anniversary of the PAC on the 6th of April this year, we believe by that time we should have made progress in 
and in getting some 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 elements of his voice. Mm -hmm. We'll be doing that. We are searching everywhere in the universities in some research houses yes. and hopefully we'll be able to, to get his voice. What will it mean to um, perhaps the PAC but also to the African people? Look, it may, uh, uh, this man remember um, why the apartheid authorities um, restricted him to even talk to the to mix with the political prisoners in Robben Island mm. was his influence. They feared that each time he talks uh, the Minister of Justice then, talking, uh, motivating why he should be con continuously until his, his side of intent to be imprisoned. Mm. He said this man has a, uh, he, he has a magnetic personality. Yes. Each time he talks to people, they follow him. So for, that was what they feared. And they have ensured that throughout his life, he doesn't influence people. And it's that voice that the people of this country, we yeah. believe, deserve to hear. Isaac, you are in Klecksdorp. Welcome. Yes, sir. Welcome. Thank you. Hello. Yes, go ahead. Yeah, I just wanted to find out from the president of the PAC. Yes. And they learning from other organizations how to market their organization. You look at the EFF, they have taken their slogans and they're succeeding to move forward with them. But uh, the PAC is keeping on failing its members by fighting for leadership positions. So I just wanted to find out when is this thing going to end? Okay. Are they going to fight for leadership positions for life? Because as you indicated before, there are three presidents. So it's very strange what's going on in the PAC. Yeah. And, yeah, and, and the PAC is a very good, big organ and, and contributed a lot to the liberation of this country. And they can't get credit because of this fighting around issues of leadership. That is, I thank you very much there from Claxop. Yeah, look, I, I wouldn't agree that there are three presidents in the PAC. Um, one, one uh, a president has to be disposed in terms of the constitution of the PAC. And the president does, is not self-appointing. He's been elected by the structures of the PAC at the correct forum. So this thing happened. It's unfortunate that um, each time, even before the issues of the presidents, there will also be some factions here and there. But we've made great strides and we have cleared up the air uh, and structurally I think we have made progress. We have moved far away from that. They will continue to be reported. We are in organizations. There will be disgruntled people who pick up this and that. They have started uh, way back, uh, I mean, during the time when President Mohua come came on board after being elected. We have had people that chase him away. In, in that, that this has history in the PAC. But we have contained this, um, uh, this particular situations. We have now have an organizational structures Actually, um, able to take pl uh, place. Uh, it's unfortunate that even after people left PAC, they're still being regarded as PAC. And they're interpreted to mean that they, didn't, they then do constitute PAC. Uh, as I've said earlier on, we, we dealt with these um, things um, legally and disposed of them. So there are no longer issues. Delikaya, Etinach. Hello? Yes, welcome. Sorry, sir. I, 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 I'm a member of the PAC also. Wh which I'm one? Mm -hmm. I'm, a, I'm a member of the PAC also. And Wh I've been paid for all in fighting since 2012. I'm saying... Ah, Delikai, I wanted to know which PAC, who's your president? Because maybe that will help us. Which president do you recognize? Do you recognize Narias Muloto, Lutando Mbinda, or Letla Pampasel? And this, actually, it's, it's an injustice, not only to Sobukwe, but also, I mean, you know that you're still battling with this incarceration of applicators who are still languishing in prison. And I, 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 I 
would imagine it becomes difficult for even those who are supposed to release them to say, okay, who do you talk to? You know, no, they want their commander, yes, then yes. Litrapa raises his hand. No, yeah, yeah. no, it doesn't arise. That question doesn't arise at all. The question is that um, we do have the one single PAC headquarters. It's at Romilly building. Now, all the people, once you're expelled, you are away. Now, what do you go and call yourself after you've been expelled? It's not a business. However, we have, we have now taken a decision at the Congress. We are clearing up these things legally where possible. Okay. Where people still go out and use the logos, uh, using the regalia of the party, we, have, we are taking steps. Okay, hold and it. Let's, the let's take Sanel. Sanel, uh, you are in Freyhead. Welcome. Um, Paul, how are you? I'm well. Thanks for the call. Thank you, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. I'm, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a... Um, and Gabonga for taking my call. Uh, my point is that who many way to should uh, do more of e education, Yama Yama giant way to a way where politics because yes. uh, if you can see who when Zuaga Kulu a education Babu Mandela and all of that what was Lawa Manya Macha and the politics are recognized. Okay. They're saying, look, you need to recognize uh, or rather um, launch more educational activities or programs around all liberation uh, heroes of the, our liberation struggle. That is um, not only those affiliated to the ANC. And really, you can't blame the ANC for, mm -hmm. for, for uh, talking about uh, heroes of the uh, struggle who were aligned to the, uh, to the ANC. It's up to you as the PAC to also make noise about your heroes. Yes, we do that, but the history of the liberation struggle needs to be recorded. Uh, the way it is, yeah. uh, because it is, it is, um, it is good for the future. It's good for the young people. Yes, young people must know the factual situation, what happened in history, who has contributed, and what the contribution is. Mm. Now, when we record history, for the best of our future generations, the young people, yes, that will arise. I think we should record facts. Otherwise, we are in danger uh, of our own children being corrected by other children from other parts of the continent, and that will be tragic. Michael, you are in Langa. Welcome. Uh, welcome. Um, thank you very much. You're welcome, sir. My, my question is to the president of the PAC. Yes. <clears throat> Yesterday in Langa, we had two um, events, both commemorating the PAC. And I want to know from the PAC, what steps have you taken to ensure that the radical elements and the rogue elements within the PAC have been dealt with? And the last one is, for how long as we as PAC members going to suffer and go through the anarchy that the expelled President Binda is perpetuating within the PNC. Thank you very much. Thanks, Michael. Oh, and you can hear the pain in this man's voice. Look, we have stepped up. If, I, I don't know whether it's a member or not. We have stepped up organizational <coughs> work. The PAC organization has taken shape. The members are being educated. They are being led properly. We are dealing with these things, but we deal with them internally. Unfortunately, we have to deal with them internally. But with regard to disciplinary code, so we were left as a disciplinary code with guides. How should the members of the PAC conduct themselves and mm. behave themselves? They, we should be uniform wherever we are. Now, and, uh, and uh, the indiscipline in the PAC is not acceptable. It's not tolerable, irrespective of who does it. Now, we implement that to the latter. Now, whoever is there, we are not bigger than the organization. And that will help to shape the PSC, and it's beginning to shape the PSC. Two rallies in Lang. Yes. Look, what is important about the, the, the rallies, I don't, I don't <clears throat> want to discuss the. What is important is that um, uh, this day has been commemorated to the PSC. We have the structures internally, which is uh, basically dedicated to ensure the question of unity, to investigate and get to the bottom of these particular issues. Unfortunately, I cannot begin to, we are still waiting for the reports, and in the absence of me getting facts, I've 
what is what was actually happening. What we know is that we have sent our national chairperson, Comrade uh, Damini, uh, uh, there to Cape Town, okay. and we are still waiting <coughs> for the report. We are not able to. Uh, <coughs> to debate that until we get the report. Let's go to Cape Town. Is it Skel or Skeko? Skeko. Okay, welcome. Yes, Mpo. Yes, Dad. I got a little bit of a program. I got a cool bum. Yes, no, we've been looking at the one white case in the EFF. My single case is the Afab Dan and the Katrika Kamakwit. Why should they join the EFF? Yeah, why don't I join the EFF? Because it's free field. Oh, so uh, you want that to go to the EFF? <laughs> yeah, because the, the best way to join the EFF because EFF, you know, we will do it. If I'm saying that, I'm sorry. Okay, that's like, wow. yeah. Look, in the PSC, we are doing very well. Uh, the PSC ranks are paying. No, no, we're no, that can't be true. I'm coming to that. Allow me to talk. Okay. Yeah. Now, we, we have, we've been attracting serious new members. PSC cannot join another organization. Uh, PSC is, the, is a liberation movement. We've been building this part. Yes, it has its own history. But for how long are you going to build? We had on challenges. But now, unfortunately, we are not talking facts. We just talk the situation events. No, no, no. Now, but these are facts. I'm telling you, on Monday, Lutando Mbina is going to be on this show. Yeah. And he's going to be telling us that he's the president of the PAC. It will be interesting to hear that. But, but we are not there. We have moved away. We are far. Uh, I think the, the question that you could able to ask is that... Uh, pro, uh, from which office of the PSC? Because while he was the president of the PSC, he was in the head office of so the So why PSC. don't you fire him as an no. MP? Why don't... No, we, we have done that. No, 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 and he's I'm an MP. He speaks on behalf of the uh, PSC. Uh, no, then. not on behalf of the PSC. <laughs> on his own personal behalf. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Let's get facts right. Yes. Here. When the speaker calls a representative of the PSC in parliament... Yes. Okay. Does the PAC have a representative in Parliament? We have informed the Speaker on the 14th of June that this man has been expelled. So what now is he doing? Now, a party cannot legally be represented by a person who has been expelled. Now, we are therefore dealing with that issue at a different forum. Now, hence I'm saying I'm not at liberty to begin to discuss uh, uh, the details of that on, on this particular um, forum. But we have, we have done that. We are doing that as a party. We are self-respecting and we believe we need to be respected as a party. Mm -hmm. Yes, we cannot be undermined. And uh, in, in the event that happens, we'll take necessary steps to do that. But unfortunately, we can't. Uh, those are the, uh, the, the, the legal issues. And, and when something you, is, is somewhere, you do not necessarily... But do you recognize the fact that all these side shows are affecting... The party because you come here instead of us talking about how ready you are for instance uh, for the elections i now have to get these things cleared because yeah. age after every six months there's some somebody going to court and all that look when a person go to court is his rights uh, unfortunately yeah uh, now but our constitution um prescribed mm -hmm. on how we should deal with issues internally and uh, our, our, our limitation is so far as we exhaust the, the constitutional provisions of the party, yeah. because that, that's, that's what we do. But in so far as it requires the third parties, like parliament, the speaker, and so on and so forth. If you ask me, what have you done? We'll tell you we have informed the speaker in writing. We have proven to him, we've given what you call the copies of the disciplinary hearing, the outcome, we've given her a copy of the number of NEC uh, members who voted in because favor. in favor okay. of the expulsion. Now we have done our job. There. So there's fraud going on in Parliament then? Uh, well, look, I don't want to zoom there because we have also reported the matter uh, to, the, to the police and uh, the investigation are at a, at a particular stage. Hence I said at this level uh, we cannot be able to continue uh, to elaborate. The, the issue has been... Um, uh, what investigated by the South African uh, police services, uh, elsewhere the public protector is involved. We have reported it to the authorities that have the competency in dealing 
with this kind of uh, violations of the law and the constitution. And that's far as we can go. High moral, high discipline. That was question time for today. A big thank you to my guests and to you for watching the show. From me and the crew, you have yourself a wonderful time. I'm a hot.